We're talking to Mr. Perry, who is the CEO of Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Nashville. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Perry, before we had our final uh, commercial break, we promised that we'd give you an opportunity to talk about mm -hmm. some of the successes as well as some of the challenges of uh, Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Middle Tennessee and perhaps uh, to uh, make some kind of appeal to uh, those individuals who might be uh, willing to uh, help you mm -hmm. either through volunteering or perhaps uh, resources or whatever because I think you've indicated that uh, you need money and yes. I, don't, I, I don't know of any uh, non-profit organization that never right. needed uh, money in real sense. So let's talk about okay. it from that perspective. Well, 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 first thing, Dr. Haney, I, th I think one of the, the, the things that is important uh, for your viewers to understand is that there's been a, a paradigm shift in this sector that you know, many refer to as non-profit or not-for-profit mm -hmm. to a, a, a social profit enterprise, if you will, mm -hmm. where we're changing the conversation away from uh, a, a charitable donation, mm -hmm. if you will, to one more of a social investment. Mm -hmm. Because when you're putting your time, when you're putting your talent and your treasure into organizations like Big Brothers Big Sisters mm -hmm. and other youth serving organizations in particular, mm -hmm. you're investing in the future of the community mm -hmm. for all, mm -hmm. not just those that come through uh, our program. Uh, you're investing in better schools, mm -hmm. you're investing in safer streets, mm -hmm. you're investing in healthier communities because really it's all about helping mm -hmm. children make better choices. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as an inherently bad kid, mm -hmm. but there are many kids that are making poor choices because they're getting poor information from the wrong sources. Mm -hmm. So again, that's what a mentor is supposed to do, is to give them some of that right information to show them mm -hmm. uh, what the proper uh, uh, behavior should be. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and one of the challenges that we, uh, quite frankly, face is that with that old mentality mm -hmm. of a charitable donation, mm -hmm. they keep organizations like ours on in, in almost uh, oh, a right. welfare state mm -hmm. where we're concerned about sustainability each year rather than attracting the requisite growth capital mm -hmm. that we need to build these mm -hmm. businesses, and they are businesses, mm -hmm. to the scale necessary to serve the needs mm -hmm. of the community. Mm -hmm. I told you at the very beginning, uh -huh. you know, we served over 2,500 right, kids right, good, last right. year. Yeah, uh -huh. But the need is greater than 75,000. Mm -hmm. right. And the only thing mm -hmm. that holds us back are the, the two critical resources. You know, one obviously are the, the volunteers mm -hmm. to come in and serve as mentors. Mm -hmm. And we also create jobs, by the way. We've mm -hmm. doubled our staff size since mm -hmm. I, I started. And so we're, we're creating career opportunities. Mm -hmm. But then the other thing, and the most important thing, are, is the money. Mm -hmm. It costs money to run these programs mm -hmm. and run them in an effective way to make sure that that child is safe, mm -hmm. that that match is an effective one, and that the outcomes mm -hmm. are, are what we're looking Good. for. And so we've been talking mm -hmm. to people about don't invest in a program, mm -hmm. invest in the outcomes of that program. Mm -hmm. So when you give money to Big Brothers Big Sisters, it costs us roughly $1,000 a year to support a match mm -hmm. in our program between a caring adult and that child, mm -hmm. which is a whole lot less and spending over twenty thousand okay. dollars a year mm -hmm. to house a convicted felon mm -hmm. and and if you go into the, uh, our prison system right now and, right. They, and they shouldn't call it corrections anymore because nothing is, is is really being corrected okay there. that's you <laughs> know why shouldn't we mm -hmm. try to stop the flow of people into the criminal justice system mm -hmm. those that we know uh, uh, might be predisposed toward ending up uh, mm -hmm. with that fate mm -hmm. we know that uh, dropouts have okay. a better chance of, of, of entering the criminal justice system. Mm -hmm. We know that if a child has a parent incarcerated, mm -hmm. uh, they might enter the criminal justice system. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if we know that that's where the kids are, then why aren't we trying to be part of a solution? Mm -hmm. You know, th our society is way, way too hung up on these politically expedient things mm -hmm. to just uh, kick a problem, ki uh, kick a can down the street, mm -hmm. if you will, and wait for the next generation to handle it. Mm -hmm. I personally uh, am not willing to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, our organization and the reason why we've had such great success, mm -hmm. we've gotten many awards uh, locally, nationally, uh, mm -hmm. from within Big Brothers Big Sisters and, and, and other organizations because we have a no excuses mm -hmm. uh, policy. We have a no excuses mentality and, and that's what drives my entire staff, which is some of the best in the industry. Mm -hmm. These kids that have raised their hands and said that they want a big brother or a big sister mm -hmm. aren't trying to hear how bad the economy is. Mm -hmm. They just want to do something about their Good. lives. And so it's our job to try to figure out a way to do that. And we can't do it without the community. So we need people to step up and get involved. Either sign up and be a volunteer. Go to mentorkid.org and do it now. Don't 
think about it and say, oh, wow, that sounds okay, real good. good and if, everything. If, yeah, exactly. If you can't do it, mm. call somebody you know who can. Mm -hmm. you, I know every single person out there that's watching right now has, has a friend or a couple of friends mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. relatives that could do a good job at this. Invite us to come out and speak to your church or your, okay. uh, your, mm -hmm. your place of business and talk about the wonderful things we're doing and the impact we're making mm -hmm. in the community and how their businesses and, and their friends and professional organizations can get involved. Mm -hmm. Write a check. You know, to help us uh, pay for a match to make sure that a child is mm -hmm. able to uh, achieve their full potential. The only option I won't make available to okay. people is to do nothing. Mm -hmm. We say you have to do something. Whether it's with us or somebody else, do something with these involved. kids. You've you got to get, get involved. involved. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? If, if, if you sit back on the sidelines, if you watch the news mm -hmm. and complain about what's going on mm -hmm. in our neighborhoods, if you listen to it on the radio okay. and, and, and you see some of these things and, and you have been sitting there on your couch and you haven't gotten in the game, okay. you're part of the problem. That is, that is part of the problem. That is part of the problem. So we're just saying get involved, get mm -hmm. engaged, do something. Mm -hmm. There's something that every single person out there uh, mm -hmm. can do. Again, they just go to mentorkid.org. Mm -hmm. There are all kinds of ways that they can get involved with Big Brothers Big Sisters. Mm -hmm. It's it's, it's a proven, evidence-based program. Mm -hmm. It works. You know, we've done a lot of research, and mm -hmm. we've had studies of, of, of former uh, littles who have gone on to do well. Uh, uh, for instance, Blaine Bishop, mm -hmm. uh, former star with the okay. Tennessee Titans, mm -hmm. is a former little brother. He's mm -hmm. on our board of directors mm -hmm. and is doing a great job, and he's out there as a spokesperson mm -hmm. uh, for us locally, nationally. And, and, and there are people that you would be surprised that think they're too busy for this. Okay. Mm -hmm. They get it done. I mean, we're talking about people that already are, are, are dads and moms mm -hmm. uh, that are, are, are chipping in and, and, and manning up and, and, and the womaning up, if, if mm -hmm. that's a mm -hmm. if that's a term. Um, and, and like I said, I, I, again, just want to highlight the, the need for, for more guys because uh, as much as we love a child, especially a young mm -hmm. boy, mm -hmm. uh, having a, a mentor, we've got far too many uh, women that are mentoring young boys mm -hmm. now because we can't find enough men. Mm -hmm. So and that's, that's the big sister part of the organization. Yeah. Speak, speak to that big sister. Well, uh, big I mean, how, how do you those work are, those two? Uh, same thing with, it, you know, that's, that's women mentoring young girls, mm -hmm. showing them how to, to grow up and be a woman. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and you know how, how it is, Dr. Haney. Mm -hmm. Women, they, they, they make us look, look bad in that regard because mm -hmm. they're going to uh, volunteer on general principle. Mm -hmm. They're ready to step up. So you've got quite a number of us. women coming we've got, in and we've working got, well with you. Absolutely. We've uh -huh. got a number of wonderful women that mm -hmm. are uh, serving as great role models for, for the young ladies of this, this community. Mm -hmm. So we need some of the guys, you know, especially if they're involved in mm -hmm. one of the uh, fraternities to, to get out mm -hmm. there and, and make it happen and, and, and explode the myth that somehow all black men are missing in okay. action mm -hmm. when it comes to being engaged in our mm -hmm. communities. And the only way that's going to happen is by us doing something, by getting started, mm -hmm. getting up off the couch, you know, and, and just go do what you do. And, and th mm -hmm. this is, a, and, and speaking of uh, 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 financial support, uh, this is a, a 501c organization, is it not? I mean, yes, it is. Yeah, and so, yeah, speak so to you, that because... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, every uh, when, when you donate money, mm -hmm. uh, when you invest in Big Brothers Big Sisters, it, it is a, a something you can write off on your income mm -hmm. taxes. Mm -hmm. So there's an advantage there. And, and, and it's also, you'll see the return in your community as, mm -hmm. as your schools uh, mm -hmm. get better, as your streets are, are, are safer, mm -hmm. as our, our kids are choosing healthier lifestyles. Mm -hmm. and. And, uh, you know, another uh, frightening statistic is that I, I heard somewhere that by the year 2020, without some change in behavior mm -hmm. or intervention, that 90% of Tennessee's children were gonna, are going to be considered overweight or obese. Mm -hmm. you know, that's that's a that, real problem. That's a real problem because uh -huh. that leads to other things. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. diabetes. I'm hearing about kids 13, 14 years old mm -hmm. getting treated for high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Now that's, that was unheard of when that's I was right. growing up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that and that's a, and and so you deal not only with uh, <coughs> mentoring, but you also attempt to uh, uh, change the lifestyles of uh, children. Is that what? We are in the life-changing business. Mm -hmm. That is what we do. I mean, that that, that it really is the essence mm -hmm. uh, of Big Brothers Big Sisters. Mm -hmm. It is helping to prepare young people mm -hmm. for the future. It's making sure that they have every opportunity mm -hmm. to achieve their full potential to have every opportunity to pursue the American dream in a mm -hmm. meaningful way. Mm -hmm. And some of them, a lot of them that, that we serve are getting locked out mm -hmm. because they're caught on a hamster wheel or, mm -hmm. or in a circumstance, not of their choosing, uh -huh. but where they happen to be today. That's right. And, and, they, and they aren't getting exposed to mm -hmm. somebody that says, hey, look, there's a better way. There's something outside of that little box that you're in right now mm -hmm. that, that makes you want to say, you know what, I can 
fly. That's you know. I can and, touch and, the sky. And I think that mm -hmm. that's one of the most important things. That that is the uh, motivation and the encouragement to uh, make a child be, or an adult or whoever believes that he or she is important and Absolutely. that they can make uh, can accomplish some things. Uh, let me thank you, Ms. Perry, for coming by and giving us that excellent information. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me also encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition. Thank you and good morning.